We have a few questions from Newsbeat listeners from our Facebook page. Uh, first, Thomas Anson says, what kind of DRM or copyright protection will be used for PlayStation 4 games? Uh, none. Uh, we're, we're offering consumers, uh, gamers, the opportunity to very flexibly use their games just as they do on PS3. Okay, and James Stokes asks, I now worry that developers will drop the PS4 in favour of Microsoft's restrictions on the second-hand market. Could this decision backfire on you? It's a good question, but we see no evidence of that happening anytime soon. Developers are delighted to be working with the PlayStation 4 platform and bringing you know, amazing new experiences to the platform. Okay, Barry McKay is asking about PlayStation 3 games. Will we be able to play them on the new console, and will PS3 controllers work on it? I'm afraid you will not be able to play PS3 games on PS4 anytime soon. We will introduce a cloud gaming service later that will allow those old PS3 games to be played on PS4. And the DualShock 3, which is the controller for PlayStation 3, will not be compatible with PlayStation 4. However, the Move controller will be. Robert isn't happy about the price of games. He says, why are they so expensive? Well, it's a huge variety in the price of games, you know, starting with free-to-play, so that's how cheap it can get. But it's true to say the premium experiences do cost a lot more, but that reflects the investment that goes into them. They take years to develop, they take hundreds of people to develop them, and as you can see here at this show, the quality of them really is stepping on.